Hey guys, this is Ricky with Toy Wizards, and today we are going to take an impromptu, spontaneous toy review look at Bandai Tamashi Nation's SH Monster Arts Godzilla from the 1962 film King Kong vs. Godzilla. So first we're just going to unbox this bad boy. Let's take a quick look at the packaging first. So we've got this beautiful headshot of the 1962 Godzilla. Looks like he's got a big happy face. On the side here, we've got some rips and tears in the packaging art, as well as a front-on view of the Godzilla. On the back, we've got 1962 Godzilla, otherwise known as King Goji, for his relation to the King Kong film. We've got a nice quarter shot here, some side view, a look at some of the articulation as he's doing some sort of a wacky dance move or a kick, um, showing the articulated jaw, the effects piece that comes with him, and this atomic breath blast. On the other side here, we just have simple uh, scratch marks in the packaging, as well as the SH Monster Arts logo. Bottom, a nice shot of him in an action pose and our legalese. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside. Well, there you have it. There's not a lot in this packaging. Really, it's just the figure itself and that effects piece. effects piece. Basically just a solid piece of translucent, semi-translucent plastic. There is a small hole uh, right here that um, the stand piece will peg into so that you can position this into his mouth and angle it. The figure itself is actually a pretty good size. Oh my gosh, and he comes with uh, already ball joints out of their socket. <clears throat> Let's just peg these back in. Those don't feel like they're pegging in as tight as they should. There's a lot of ball joints on this guy, so I forgive it. All right, so let's angle down here a little bit and take a look at this guy. So right off the bat, beautiful sculpt, very accurate to the way he looked, the suit looked in 1962 in King Kong vs. Godzilla. The eyes, if you can see, are actually a translucent clear plastic that are over the eye, sculpt, so he does have a very cool looking
add some 3D depth. The um, mouth is articulated, so you can open the mouth and close the mouth. He has one, two points of articulation on just the neck so that you can tilt and get a variety of range just on the neck alone for posing. Ball joint shoulders, ball joint elbow. Uh, it looks like his hands are actually reversed on this. So let me pull his hands off and swap them to their correct orientation. It seems like these guys were assembled in a hurry at the factory. But everything's just in a ball peg, so if something pops out while you're posing, it's simple and easy, relatively easy, to just place back into the ball socket. I was wondering if his feet were also swapped, but it looks like they're in the correct uh, spot each. Looks like there's a right and a left unique sculpt for the foot, and I guess they're in the right spot. So, the tail itself has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen segments. So, you can get a lot of posability out of this tail alone. There is an abdominal ball joint right here in the center. Um, and then basically this is all one piece, a pelvic piece. These big chunky thighs are also each on a ball joint. Now there's like a double knee joint, however, it's basically just two ball joints here and just above uh, for the knee articulation. So you do get quite a bit of range and motion and tilt. However, there's not going to be a lot of bend just due to the sculpt itself. But this is a man in a suit in 1962 and uh, you know these guys were lucky enough to just kind of walk on the stage and uh, get their take done without falling over. Oh, there we go. Really got to get that leg in there. So I would say the um, most notable comparison that people are probably going to make with this figure is with the recently released NECA 1962 Godzilla that comes in that beautiful uh, Kong vs. Godzilla box with the original poster art. And uh, while the NECA stuff is easily available, affordable, um, I'd say that the SH Figure Arts or Monster Arts line uh, definitely has those beat in terms of sculpt um, and paint application. These guys have just wonderful amounts of paint. Everything's very clean. All the teeth are individually painted in kind of a, a dirty, washed, off-white. And, uh, of course, these eyes uh, just look much better than the NECA, who just uses a, a flat sculpt uh, with a really flat yellow and just a black uh, pupil, where these eyes have a lot of depth and um, just 
just a lot more life to them. So this guy stands about seven inches tall. It's a bit smaller than the NECA release and the NECA line in general. Um, of course, it is going to be a little bit more expensive, like I said. So if this is something you guys like, if you're a big Godzilla fan, if, um, if you're like some of our friends of the site, and uh, growing up, this was really your Godzilla, your favorite suit. I know it's a lot of people's most favorite design for Godzilla. Then it's a great figure, and um, it's a wonderful sculpt, lots of articulation will look great on a shelf, especially with Bandai vinyl stuff that is in a similar scale. This is just uh, basically a much more articulated version of those Bandai vinyls. Of course, made out of a harder ABS plastic and not vinyl. So thanks for taking a look with this uh, quick, spontaneous toy review. Go ahead and please follow us at toy dash wizards.com. Follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for taking a quick look, guys. Thank you.